Welcome to the Hotel Via V here in Kochum, Germany. It sits right on the Moselle River and it has a view of the Reichberg Castle. Oh, and my room is right up here. We're gonna tour the hotel, we're gonna tour the room, we're gonna walk around a little bit before the sun sets, which starts around 4.30. And um, in an upcoming vlog, we're gonna walk to the castle and tour inside the castle. Here are photographs and a video clip from the Reichsburg Castle vlog. The Reichsburg Castle is in walking distance from Hotel Villa V. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh, the stunning views. In this video clip, we are inside the castle. Let's walk over here to the right. If we look out towards the view over here on the right, we can see Hotel Villa V out there. Hello, Hotel Villa V. I love these flowers. Next, we'll go inside to learn about some German Christmas traditions. I look forward to touring the castle with you in that vlog. <gasps> I'm looking at the castle. You want to see the castle? But our vlog will start out next with little bits of highlights from my journey by train from my headquarters in Dusseldorf. Um, it was about a maybe like three and a half total journey. There was three train or no, yeah. One, two, three trains and a taxi, and I'm here. Welcome to Kokum, Germany. Let's look at the castle. Oh my goodness. So my room has a castle view. And Laura, who checked me and said, So were that churches? Mm, oh, you know, is it that church or another spot? I think it's, I think it's from here. There'll be a road that will take us up to the castle or maybe it's there. I think it's here. Well, we'll find out in that vlog. <laughs> and then um, she told me there's like a grocery stop, shop I'm gonna run to later. Cause you know, I love grocery stores. It's around here. And um, I mean, how gorgeous is this resort? Oh my gosh, okay. So the room we'll go up to in a little bit is this one. So this is my front windows and my side window. This is the window with the castle view. And uh, also, I'm sorry in advance for all my mispronunciation or ones I've already done and it may change throughout the vlogs. And I am sorry. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's take a peek at my journey here um, from Dusseldorf on the transportation here to Kokum. This morning, I traveled down from the Purple Star up north, that's Dusseldorf, down to Kokum, that's our destination at the Orange Star. First, I reviewed all the various transportation options and connections with buses and trains, and I went with this one. So we've got a little bit of a walk, and we've got three different trains to take us to Kokum. Here I am on the second train with all of my bags. Now, that suitcase across is not mine, and oh, the person next to me was so sweet to take the picture. Here's one without their finger in it, and I'm enjoying my banana. This is the third train, and I accidentally sat in first class. Shh, don't tell anyone, but they were so sweet and actually let me stay. And I enjoyed the lunch I packed in this car, and it was awesome. The beautiful scenery and the beautiful architecture were just so delightful. I love traveling by train.
Welcome to Kokum, Germany. Time to get a taxi to the hotel. So let's take this elevator down. This of all my bags. <laughs> How cute is this train station? I love it. What a beautiful train station. So I called my hotel and they're gonna call for me a taxi. Um, there isn't any on hand right now here. So they said it'll be about 10 minutes. Oh, just taking in these incredible views and the beautiful architecture here in Kokum. We're on the taxi for the fun ride over to Villa B. So my hotel is behind me and I'm in love with it. I've already inquired to see if maybe I can book an additional night. I mean, oh, it is unreal. I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, another look at the Mosul. So yes, it's cold. Why well, don't I have a coat on? I just don't feel like it. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll have, yeah, I'll be putting one on, but I'm just, yeah, I'm good right now. And um, look at that castle. I saw the pictures, I saw the website, I looked at photos of the area. Nothing could have prepared me in person. I'll show you where I first saw the castle view. I, you know, it took my breath away. It exceeded my expectations and it's really, really enjoyable and relaxing here. Um, love it, it's super quaint. Ooh, it says up here is a vine garden. How like cozy is all of this? Oh my goodness. Now come along with me to tour the hotel and my room. So this is the reception area where I checked in. We'll go up those steps in a second. And Laura 
Laura told me that, you know, we can just feel free to lounge around this area and that this is where um, breakfast will be when I come down for breakfast. Look at the view. Oh my gosh, the view. <laughs> There, there's a castle, FYI. Castle-licious. And Laura told me that, um, you know, if I would like a, a bottle of wine or a snack or another type of beverage, just write down on a piece of paper and they'll um, put it on your um, room bill. And let's see, here's some prices. Ooh, for the hot drinks, for after breakfast hours. Okay, so, Laura, I want you to show me around. Hey, Laura. Um, first took me out here. It's where I first saw the castle. I screamed. You can scream too. Okay, well, I've already showed you the castle, but here's where I first saw the castle. Oh, and so there's blankets in the basket there to sit outside. <laughs> and yes, I should still have a coat on. <laughs> okay, ready? Castle, castle, castle! So this is before I went to my room, and we stopped here. Laura was showing me around, and I mean, oh, fairy tale, right? Oh my. So, I am super excited to go up to show you my room. I am super excited to soak in this view during my visit here to Kokum. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me. I, I literally can't handle it. It's, it's amazing. Let's look around more. It exceeded my expectations. I'm in love with it. Um, let's go to the room. I was so excited to be there. And it totally felt like a dream. Okay, let's go back inside. Okay, so we're back inside the cozy living room area by the lobby. Oh, Laura also said if um, there's also drinks available for purchase in here. Again, she said just write the name down. Um, what is that? Oh, I think that means apple. <laughs> Always looking for apple juice, right? And some games, it looks like. Coolness. Oh, before we go the way to my room, she told me this floor is old. Let's see, let's go up this stairway. Look at that door. Let's go look at that door. I mean, I think, I think she said being a viewer means it's a little castle. It totally feels like a little castle. Vila V. And this door is rad. Okay, we're, it's chained. <laughs> this wood, mm, it's like luscious.
So there's rooms on this side of the building. There's a total of 13 rooms. And so yeah, it continues up, but let's head on over um, to mine. Do you hear this creaks? Oh, this creakiness is amazing. Oh, it actually feels good on the feet. And the wood floors in here are awesome too. Okay, so I'm on the other side of the building. Let's, let's go say hi to the castle on our way up. Big boo. So my room's up here, up these stairs. Mm, here we go. This particular room that I'm in is number four. Let me put this down a second so I can get my key. So, um, room number four. Okay, she said that will also let us in after hours to the front door, my, um, my room key. Welcome to my room. smells so good too and um she told me that this this piece of furniture is also super old and uh, here's the beautiful bed and i've got this couch what do you call it when they're like that lounge and guess what we can see? <laughs> oh. oh, look at this, huh? Mr. Castle, Reichberg Castle, Toria soon. Okay, the Mosul. And the entire Mosul through this gorgeous picture window. Oh my gosh. And then here's like where we were standing just a second ago when I was sitting there, where I first saw our castle view. Isn't it a beautiful room? Love uh, the beams. I love everything about it. That's a complimentary water. Um, what else? Over here, um, is a mirror, closet area, all my things. <laughs> and yes, I traveled with a larger roller duffel and two backpacks, one in the front, one in the back, and a waist pouch. I would not recommend that. 
Um, an issue can come with the steps. There's lots of steps um, on and off to the different um, tracks, especially if you're training, uh, changing trains. Now, I knew that this was my only destination, so I'm not gonna be like hopping in and out of another city or back on the train again. So to come directly here, stay a little bit, I was okay. I, I wasn't intending on it. I thought I, I, I wasn't intending on the roller bag, but a roller bag, you know, it does it does add like a, lo a level of, um, a layer of complexity um, and challenges. It all fits on the train pretty good, um, but it's more manageability if you're faced with stairs when the elevator is down, which I hit at the last, getting on the last train. Um, so I, I would definitely prefer, like if I'm gonna bring a lot of stuff in my equipment, then the front backpack, a backpack pack, and like a shoulder tote, and something that does not um, have to roll onto the ground. Um, I, I prefer off the ground. Lots of people have roller suitcases that we're traveling. And that's just not, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Especially if you're gonna um, hop around to multiple destinations within the country or between countries. Pretty sure. And large mirror, large sink, hair dryer, outlets, heat your towels. You see that? A lot, it's super common um, in Germany. I, I don't really, I, I've never stayed at a hotel in the US that had this, oh, and additionally, I've never seen it in anyone's um, home. So super cool feature. So it's heat for the bathroom and heat for your towels. Those vineyards are so beautiful. That'll conclude the room tour and the hotel property tour. Um, one more thing I will show is breakfast. Um, and I'm gonna throw that in right here. We will tour more rooms at breakfast next. Good morning, everyone. It is breakfast time here at my hotel. So I'm so excited to go down with you and check it all out. Good morning. Hey, did you hear I have a view of the castle from my room? You didn't. Let me show you again. So from this window, there I have amazing blackout curtains. So it just literally blacks everything out at night. Complete darkness and privacy. And oh, that castle looks this way. Oh yeah, our awesome couch. And let's say good morning to the castle. Good morning, Reichberg Castle. Okay, let's go down and have a little breakfast. So we're like pretty much right on top of breakfast.
Good morning, Laura. Good morning. <laughs> this is the lovely and kind Laura. And you. you've been spoiling me here. <laughs> yeah, so that's my pleasure. Oh, tell me about breakfast. I used, I used to do that with every guest. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. You just exude kindness for everyone here. Oh. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's look at the breakfast. And, and then you were saying like um, sometimes on the weekends and other times that there's even a more extensive yes, spread. Double, double. Wow, yeah. wow. Oh, how beautiful. I want all your breads, all these, and the wines. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and what do you have in, can I peek? Ooh, like look at the. Eh. Just, okay. <laughs> sausages, they don't want sausages. So right, right. Uh, uh. Here's a look at breakfast on a different morning. Avocados are my favorite food next to pizza. How would you describe kokum? Magic. <laughs> Just magic. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful quiet place for a vacation. And as you see, our hotel here is a small villa. It's like a little castle. <laughs> and the only word that I can describe everything is magic. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh. Yes. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. And it's also a pleasure to have guests like you here. Lovely, oh. kind, happy. Oh, Excited. you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> what a beautiful view from over here. The castle. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Danke, thank you. <laughs> Laura, I heard that you might want to share with us all one of your other rooms. Of course, you can come through the kitchen. Okay. Thank you. And how do you like it here in our small villa? Oh, for example, it's extraordinary. It exceeded anything I could have imagined. Even exceeded the exceptional photos on the website. I can show you this room here, where. The floor, first of all, it's 140 years old. Wow. Yes. It's stunning. They, I love it. They keep in the hotel like the old and with new. They, they keep the old stuff also, which makes the place more, more interesting and more magic and more beautiful. And yes, I, I work here every day and I'm still coming to work and I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, you know? it's, it's like something to be in awe of every single day for sure. Um, the beauty and that they restored, how it's decorated. I can show you also on top if you okay. want. And oh, thank you. <laughs> and thank you for being so magical for us here. <laughs> My pleasure. I love how the stairs creak. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Laura. Yeah. Ooh. The little little castle here. Oh. <laughs> and how this corner corner here it's also like in a medieval medieval way. <laughs> right, right. Oh, stunning. Uh, what a special space spectacular view of the magical Mosul. Am I saying it right? Mo Mosul? Mosul, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the river uh, starts in Fran French. Oh. Yeah, it's coming from 
French, actually. Wow. Oh, yeah, thank Kocham you. Kocham is, is very, very busy town. They come people all over the world. Wow. Mm -hmm. How does this season compare to Christmas and, which is coming soon, and the summer season? What's your summer season like? Oh, it's crowded. Wow. <laughs> very. <laughs> yes, in this time of the year, it's also crowded, but most of the time at the weekend. Wow. Yeah. There's such a lovely peace and there's like a real, real quietness within the yes. hotel. Yes. And within our individual rooms. I feel yes. like I'm the only one here. I, I love that. Yeah, feeling. even if the stairs are very old and from wood, but it's it's very quiet. Yeah. It is. They're very That's peaceful true. destination and lodging location. Wow, oh, thank you so much for the tour of these other <laughs> two welcome. exceptional rooms on your beautiful property here. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh yes, show us like like you first showed me. <laughs> and ta-da! <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's what we're here for, right? Oh, what type of boat is that? Well, they I think they gonna take up the tree, see the tree that is stuck on the water. Oh. Yeah. They might they might took that away. Oh, okay, right there. Oops, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no way. Yeah. That little tree right there. Get out! Oh my gosh. Yeah, and in the summer we have boats here with live music, with yeah, you just get a ride for two hours, for one hour. It depends. Whatever you want in Kocham, you find whatever you want. <laughs> wow! Wow! It's really nice. It's it's magical. Like I said, it's magic. It's magic. Oh, and thank you for being magical for everyone here. My pleasure. Oh. <laughs> My pleasure. How do we say that the hotel name? It's Villa V or V? How do you say it? Villa V. Villa V. Oh. Villa V. <laughs> oh wow. So is this a little like um, grapes? Do grapes grow on the vine there? Uh, this year no. Yeah. No. Okay. Just trees, but here all over the places there are vineyards. Vineyards, vineyards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do you yes. say that in English? Vineyards, yes. Vineyards, yes. As you see on top of the hill. And have you tasted the wine here? <laughs> you know, I tried the Riesling that you have available here, and mm -hmm. that's a local, locally made, right? And yes. I hear it's like one of the best in the world. The Riesling is yeah, more. It's the the region here is very famous also for the wine. Wow. The wine is. Mm, Okay. Where would you recommend if I was going to sample wine today, what are some of the options locally that I should go? Or yeah, yeah, it is here in Koham. There's a few places. We uh, also always recommend not far away from here, from the villa. On the left side, on the right, there are some Daniel Bach. They, uh, he has a very, very Ooh. good wine. Yes, and the next town also. I mean, here, each town has wine there they make home at home wine there's a big factory and you find all over the place wine <laughs> i saw vineyards up by the castle on my yes. way up yes uh those are yeah from uh, belongs to the city oh yeah but here all over the place yeah they are private Wow, mm -hmm. wow. And you should see they have special little tiny machines that goes on top and pick up the grapes because <gasps> you can. Some of the hills here, they are full of rocks and you just can go there and gra uh, grab the grapes. You need really? a machine. Yes. <laughs> you should come in summer. 
I want to. <laughs> you should come in somewhere. I will. I'll be back. And what would you tell people、um, why they should visit Kokom? Yeah, like I said, it's a magic place. Once you come,、uh, you came here. You, your head gets clear about a lot of things that probably before you came here it was not that clear. <laughs> It's、um, party also. Like I said, party boats.、Uh, we have here places where you can party, like the old German music <laughs> and the castle. They、uh, have、um, the star of the show. They have、uh, shows like. Two times in a year, I guess, <gasps> where they dress up like in、uh, old old times, and they cook outside, like how they used to live before, back in the days. You know, that's that's awesome. Wow! Wow! I see they're gonna have a、um, lantern tour coming up, or on certain nights, right? A candlelight tour,、um, I think, in the castle、oh, at night. Yes. Yeah, they do that also. Often. Oh, look at that,、um, Laura. My room. <laughs> Everybody,、yes. that's the room right up there,、um, right there. And、um, well, I I thank yeah, you for I, sharing I your asked, magic. I ask the our guests when they leave. Yeah, you know, what did you like the most in Kofam? And most of them, they're like,、uh, I can't find the words to describe it. <laughs> I was, I was like, okay, that's enough. I understand. <laughs> it's just match, magical、agree. place. I agree, and it, it definitely yeah. on on this portion of my travels and journeys, it has definitely been a life's changing stop on my journey of travels.、Um, one of the, a momentous stop for me as well. The city of Kokum,、uh, Villa V, and meeting you, Laura, <laughs> and I've enjoyed talking with you and.、Um, I, I thank you so much. What a special place, and I can't wait to return. I think I'll come in the summer. Check out more. You are more than welcome. <laughs> thank you, Laura. My、thank、pleasure.、You. My pleasure. So this is the extraordinary breakfast view from here at Villa V, and here's、um, what I'm starting out with here this morning. At breakfast, I met Lars, who is visiting with his friends from Munich, where they are stationed. Lars has shared with us his own personal beautiful drone video footage of Kokum for me to include in this vlog. This is Lars's drone footage. Breathtaking. From across the other side of the Moselle, and then next he also shares with us footage from his walk across the bridge, which he recommended that we do and film. And I do, and it'll be later on in this vlog. We'll walk across together and wander around. Thank you, Lars, for all of your incredible video art that you have shared with me and us all for this vlog. Thanks, Lars. Okay. Also, I'm gonna pop in. I did take a little walk down,、um, and we're gonna pop into the grocery store called Penny,、uh, right here. Okay. I'm not gonna show us going in. Things, but like, how cool to like just walk around here and、um, yeah, just become part of this 
community of uh, adorableness. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this church. Okay, Penny, I'll break that. Let's see what's <laughs> down this way a little more. the whole time, yeah, I'm walking along the Mosul. It's up here. So we'll call this time for a little wandering and sidetracking from my run to the grocery store after the room vlog, which y'all are still watching. What's, what is back here? Oh my gosh. Stop with this cuteness, Coco. Holy cow. And there'll be a little bit of wandering. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the grocery store. See you back um, at the hotel tour. Okay, so I kept on wandering, and how could I not? It is just so delightful in this entire area. After I went grocery shopping, I enjoyed everything I bought out on the terrace with a beautiful night view of the castle. I got my favorite plant-based mortadella, some howda cheese from Holland, and a glass of the famous Riesling. Laura came and joined me out on the terrace. We talked a bit, she took this photo of me, and we made plans to go see the castle at night. Here are some shots from our nighttime view castle visit. And also Laura loaned me her awesome medieval dress. So I was able to take these photos of myself from a balcony at the hotel. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Laura. That was so much fun. Oh, what else did I get to do with Laura during my visit? We went to grab pizza. We went back to the grocery store, Penny, and had many fun chats. I am so grateful that my stay at Villa V and Cocum included a built-in travel BFF in Laura. Thank you, Laura. Coming up next in the vlog, I'll walk from the Hotel Villa V across the bridge above the Moselle River. But first, Laura and I sit down to have a little chat all about travel. It's <laughs> me, Laura. It's been, it's been really cool. Should we it have a seat me, on our couch? It gives me a good vibes, you know. Oh. You, you're giving this. Even if you don't notice this, you just, when you show up, 
<laughs> you have a very good energy. Yes. And um, congratulations that you are here that you travel because travel it's very very important travel traveling is healing our soul actually because what happened when you travel you see new things you see everything is new and your brain it's busy to to work on the new images new people new new something new and it won't have time anymore to to um, think of the same movie in your head, you know, like your comfort zone and everything. So the brain is busy. When you travel, you see something new, it's busy. And it's like, um, like a pause in your head from, yes. from home, from job, from with the kids, with everything. So travel, it's very, very healthy. That's a beautiful way to put it. It is a beautiful pause and it's a um, healing for our brains, for our minds. Yes. Um, Even yeah. if you don't have, um, uh, I say that in English. If you can go now, like from America to Europe, just go somewhere. Yeah. Just go, go one day to, in your town, in your city, to a street where you haven't been before. It's also something new. This is all about to, to see something new because you give to your brain some new job and <laughs> work on it. <laughs> it, takes the, it takes the images, it takes the, uh, you know, you hear it, you feel it, you, you see it, and it's busy with new stuff. I love that. And yeah. it just really stress. A vacation for our minds. <laughs> yes. And again, congratulations. You're so sweet. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for, and you have a beautiful You're an energy. Example. Oh, <laughs> You're an you're example. You're so sweet. Thank you for being so kind to me. Thank you, Laura. Oh, everybody, <laughs> our thanks to Laura here at Villa V. Thank you for your kindness and um, your inspirational words of wisdom. Thank you for sharing Thank with you. us. Yeah, it's, I didn't know this. I, I was stuck many times in a comfort zone and I was like, okay, let's just go to a street that I've never been before, mm. an after, mm. to a town, to a village, to a city, and I've been in America. <laughs> and, oh, you said you've been to, um, by Disney? Uh, yeah, uh, there, and I've been in many places, and also here, you know? Right, right. I just go and see something new. This is very, very important for the brain, because he's getting occupied, occupied with something new. <laughs> and you get to experience this daily with meeting travelers from around the world yes. that you get to welcome. Um, yes. That must be, that's exciting. Hear their stories. Yes. yes. What brought and them into town. Plus here in our uh, villa, this we have only 13 rooms and we get more in touch with the people. Yeah, really intimate, yeah. Yes, and they share some life experiences course and I see the difference when they leave mm. sometimes they come of course you come from home from the job from yeah you have everything you still got your stress packed yeah. up with you yeah. yeah hello yeah wow nice yeah and when they leave Woo, wow, oh, I'm so sorry that I leave, oh, you know, you I'm just gonna cry it. when you I leave. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very, very healthy mm. to travel. You see that transformation from start to finish. Yes. That's so cool. Yes, so cool. It's, it's wonderful. And like I said, if, so many people, they don't have the opportunity to travel, I don't know, like the miles distance. away. Yeah, yeah. Just take little steps, baby steps and go even in your town or your city go uh, into a street that you've never been before because that helps a lot yeah baby travel steps is that's all we need yeah, yeah. <laughs> i they're love those tips very, yeah they're very important <laughs> oh oh so we're so thankful to have um, met you and um Excited to be in touch in the future and hopefully more you. travels will bring us all to get to say hi to you in the future. <laughs> Come say hi to Laura. <laughs> yeah. 
It'll change your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. Oh. <laughs>Okay, so I just walked out of Vila V. We're going to walk down to the bridge um, that Lars was telling us about and um, walk across here. I'm going to take some pictures and check out the view. There's my window with the castle view right up there. Okay, so bridge is down there. Gonna head that way. I'll see you as we get closer. More wandering, let's do it. Wandering beneath the castle in Kokum, Germany. I look forward to showing you all the tour from within the castle on an upcoming vlog on my YouTube channel and get subscribe right here above the castle. Please hit the subscribe button below this video and follow me over on Instagram at the Star Show. Thank you. So we can see that the bridge is right over there. We're getting closer. I'm excited to see the view from over there. Let's go across that bridge. This welcome sign is from the day that I walked to the castle, but I wanted to include it because look at the beautiful blue sky this day and a beautiful welcome from Kokum for us. So it's my first time walking on this side of the street. Usually we're over there, right? And uh, wow, the water looks so beautiful. The Mosul, which comes from France. And there's our bridge.
Yeah, was that that tree they rescued? Could it be? So beautiful. What a gorgeous looking church, right? So we're close to the bridge. So Koblenz is another city that would be fun to visit, but I don't think this trip Of course, there's many cities to visit. Check out this boat. Is this running? What? What's going on here? I know more is active in the summer. Um, this one, this one may be active. Mm, the water has a cool smell. Oh my gosh, the beauty. Okay, where do we get on the bridge? <laughs> I guess not here. Not here? Is there, is there a bridge entrance? Let's see. Gosh, these trees. And these leaves. Special. Oh, cool. I think we could go up the bridge here. I think. Let's peek. Is that what this is? Is, is this an entrance? Ooh, it is. We're going under the sea. Perfect, more, more climbing. We haven't climbed enough, have we? We made it on top. Wow. Okay. Wow. We are walking across the bridge above the Mosul. <gasps> There's our castle. Right there. <laughs> So here you are in the middle, over the bridge on the Mosul. Let's continue over. 
I'm just realizing I didn't bring an umbrella. I think I felt it start to drizzle. Well, I am going to be looking for some apple strudel, warm apple strudel with like ice cream. So we can just pop into a place if it starts to drizzle. Hopefully it's just a little drizzle. <laughs> What's that place say? Vine, Hex, and Keller. Wine. I mean, there's probably strudel here, right? Check out my apple strudel short right here on my YouTube channel. The best apple strudel I've ever had in my life right here in Kokum. Let's head this way. Oh, cool. Oh, do I want to go up or down? Um, where does it look safe to walk? I feel like going up. Could be a cool spot for a photo. Let's see. This looks like a nice spot. So here's our castle view. Wow. Okay, well, goodbye from this wandering for now. So awesome to see the castle and cross the bridge um, over to the side for this view of the castle with y'all. <laughs> now back to the rest of the vlog. I take some self-portraits from my photography Instagram account, Star Woods, followed by a little warming up with some apple strudel and tea in Kokum. And then it's time for us to head on back to Hotel Villa V. Let's go.
everyone look at this silhouette of the castle with this pink sunset going on behind it oh my goodness wow good night Rexford castle On my departure day, I had the honor of meeting Theo. Theo renovated and designed Villa V along with his friend Robert. Theo is part of the owner's family. He is the owner Julian's stepfather. Theo has a message for us. Okay, so welcome to Villa V, the nicest boutique hotel in Cochum. You will like it. Danke. Thank you, Theo. Well, breakfast was extraordinary. Thank you so much to Laura um, for warmly giving us all such a beautiful, beautiful breakfast buffet here at Villa V. Thank you also to our new friend, Lars Koenig, who has submitted and shared with us uh, the creation that he made through his drone footage, where you can see the castle um, from over there. So he was over there up on that hill behind us. And um, we really enjoyed your footage. Thank you so much, Lars Koenig. And he is here visiting um, from Munich, from Bavaria um, with the military. So hello, Lars Koenig. Thank you so much. Wonderful to meet you all. And uh, thank you so much to Vila V for this incredible visit. Um, it's just been such a special stop on part of my travel journey. And um, it's been a moment that I remember for for my whole life long, <laughs> a lifelong memory for sure. And um, yeah, let's continue on with the um, rest of the vlog. Um, I think I'm about to say farewell from up in the room. Thanks for joining me here at the Hotel Via V. And I'm gonna take a little time to enjoy this castle view some more. You're gonna have to peel me away from this window for sure. And I look forward to seeing you on the next vlog or live stream from Disney or anywhere around the world. I'll see you on the next one. Have a happy, happy, bye. Tschüss. I'm gonna spell it right this time. Tschüss. Ciao. Laura dropped me off at the train station and it was time to begin my journey back to my Airbnb in Dusseldorf all while dreaming of the fairy tale stay that I just enjoyed at Hotel Villa V in Kochum, Germany. <laughs>